right, all right. Welcome back to uh, Eyes Open Media. Prophet John here. Hope you guys are doing well. It is 4-4-2021. All right. So I know so I know a lot of you guys are probably in Easter Sunday uh, worship, and um, a lot of you guys aren't. Okay. So it all depends on on uh, if you believe in that or not. Um, you know that you know it, it is what it is. Okay. So. Um, but you know, the, 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 important thing is that we're all, um, Christ followers. We're all, uh, you know, not all of, of course, not all of us that are here are Christ followers. Some of us are here because we're nosy, but, um, <laughs> but majority of us are Christ followers, regardless if we, we go to Easter Sunday or, or don't participate in, in the holidays or not. Um, and, um, you know, we, we want to make sure that uh, we stay that way. You know, we're, it's a family regardless if you um, practice the um, the holidays or you don't. Um, if you, um, you know, there's a whole bunch of things that some of you guys practice and then some of you guys don't, you know, and it's vice versa. Some of you guys might practice some of some, you know, the, the festival of lights and some of you guys don't, you know what I mean? So there's a whole bunch of different things that, People, people, um, you know, practice and and do, and other people don't do. There's a lot of rituals that people do that many people don't do, right? So, um, at the end of the day, um, if you um, believe in Christ and you believe that um, He is the chosen one and uh, and He uh, died for our sins and uh, He resurrected and um, He is now sitting on the throne. Um, you know what I mean, and uh, with with the with the Creator and and the Holy Spirit, then it's really all that matters. You know, um, if you're living your life good, if you if you if you're repenting for your sins, if you're helping your brothers and sisters out, and, and you know, in the Lord and other people out, if you're helping the hungry and the sick and the poor out, and you know, um, if you if you if you're doing the best of your ability and fulfilling your destiny on this planet Earth. Um, you know, that, that's what we're supposed to be doing, right? So, um, all the other stuff is, you know, it's, it, it's what it is, you know, some of it's entertainment, some of it is, is a ritual, some of it is programming, some of it is, um, celebration, some of it is whatever you want to call it, okay? But as long as we're doing the work for the kingdom of God, that's what it really matters, right? Um, you know what I mean? And so... As we say that, um, what's going on today? I don't even know what's going on today. Today is Sunday, except for, you know, Easter stuff. Well, I'm not sure what else. Go I know a lot of you guys are not going to have big brunches and and with families and friends and things like that. Um, you know, uh, people, people are going to pop out of nowhere that you ain't seen in a while. Like, hey, you know, but there is some disturbing stuff going on around the world. Um, I'm seeing police... Uh, raid churches all around the world um, for unlawful gathering on on Easter Sunday. So and people are being dragged out of the churches and stuff. This is terrible. But this is, I mean, this is the this is the new world order that we've been talking about for ten years now. You know what I mean? For over ten years on the internet, I've been preaching and teaching about the new world order. Um, and how they're going to just, they're, they're going to force their way in. They're going to stop you from praising God. They're going to stop you from doing anything. Uh, Spain just passed a law saying that uh, you, you need to uh, wear your mask while you're swimming. I, think about that. Think about how stupid that is, you know. But this is what they're doing. They're making fun of humanity. So what humanity needs to do is say enough is enough we're going to now come after you. That's it. You know, um, we because you don't even know who's making these rules. There li is literally some midget, you know, some four foot eleven midget, you know, sitting in in some in some courtroom making these rules for humanity and and literally laughing at you, you know. And so, 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 so human beings are gonna real, are gonna finally realize at some point here very soon. Why are we doing this again? For what reason again? You know what I mean? Um, for something that has a ninety nine point nine percent survival rating, we're literally changing our entire lives and our generational uh, lives, right? For something that has a ninety nine point nine percent survival rating we've never done this for anything else 
And so when humans finally wake up, you know, some of it's going to be too late because some of you guys already are, are, you know, some of people have already taken uh, the shot and some other, and have done other things and will be taking a microchip and they don't care and they still believe that they're going to be able to walk in the kingdom of God. <laughs> but others are going to finally wake up and say, wait a minute, I'm going to change my, I'm going to, you're going to want me to do what? <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, it, it's, it's, uh, yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. You shutting down the economies of the world for something that has a 99.9% .9 survival rating. You're going to put wellness wellness stickers on restaurants. Uh, for a 99.9% .9 survival rating virus. Like, it's ridiculous what we're allowing them to do. Right? And so humanity needs to wake up. Because I'm not, I, you know, I can preach and preach and preach and preach and preach all day that you're being deceived at the highest levels and they're laughing at you at these elite meetings. And you people, and some of you guys will not believe me. You won't care. You only believe what they sell, what they tell you. You don't even know who they are. It could be a freaking cartoon characters telling you this stuff. You don't, you would never know because you don't care. All you care about is if they, if they, you don't know who they are. If they say it, we must follow it. And that's how they get you every time. You know? And, and now you're now you're gonna be jumping in the pool with your mask on, looking like a fool. But that's because you believe in they before you believe in Christ. You 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 like you believe in they so much that you don't even care about Christ, you don't care about common sense. All you care about is what they say. You've allowed they to rule to, to rule over you as your new as your God. That's the new world order. When they can rule over you and and, and you're like, man, well, I, I my finances aren't together, my you know, I can't grow my own food, I can't do they they because that's what they've done to you. They stripped you. You're you become a nine to five slave. You've become a person who can't who can't who can't be dependent on themselves. You must have to go to you must get food from somewhere else. You can't grow your own food. You don't believe that you can grow your own food. You don't believe that you can make money on your own. You don't believe that you can do things on your own when you're actually designed to do things on your own. There wasn't any of this easiness when when God created the world, when God created man. Go back to 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 um, 500 AD or AB or BC. Go back to go back to 1100, the years of 1100. These people had to grow everything and do everything on their own. <laughs> you know, you you just pop up, order DoorDash, and and and, and uh, you know, pop up and go to work and and come home and chill. It's like you're a robot. You know, so now you believe that you can't, you can't do anything on your own because everything has been given to you, right? So they've created this, they, they've created a place where everything is given to you. All you got to do is just wake up and go to work, wake up and order food, wake up and do this, wake up and do that. And so now in your own mind, you believe that if that's stripped away from you, you can't survive when you actually, you're designed to survive, to be able to survive. Your ancestors and, and many people around the world have been doing this and are still doing it right now for centuries. They wake up, they go, they farm, they you know what I mean, they they get water from the wells and they pump water. They 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 do this. We got people around the world doing this right now as I'm speaking. You got family members growing crops, pumping water in the well, and still living like it's eleven hundred right now. But in your mind, you can't do, you're not going to be able to function that way because <laughs> they designed, they have designed you and brainwashed you to think that you can't live without them. And so now they want to rule over you because now they got you. And that's what's called the new world order, right? So we need to be careful. We need to realize that no, we can we can live without the system. We can grow crops. We can we can have water, clean water. We can do the things that we need to. We can function without the system, even though the system makes it easy for you to live. Um, you know, but you can live without the system, especially when they get you know uh, 
when, when they when they bring their totalitarian um, regime and agendas and communism and socialism agendas upon you. Anyways, I think I think we 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 get it. We understand that we need to make sure that um, this isn't us, and um, we're not falling for the okie doke. Okay, uh, and, and that we're make we're making sure that God. Uh, the Holy Spirit and Yeshua, our Savior, is in front of our lives and is guiding us into the right situations, the right positions, the right things, and, uh, and guiding our lives every single day. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for guiding us, protecting us, and healing us, washing us clean from the top of our heads to the bottom of our feet. Forgive us for our sins and all the things that we have done. Remove every every sign of brainwashing from our minds in Yeshua's mighty name. Wash us clean, Father. We repent for every sin that we have committed and done in Yeshua's name. Wash us clean with the Holy Spirit and the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Um, and uh, wash us with the blood of Yeshua as well. We accept Yeshua as our Lord and Savior. We accept the Holy Spirit and the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Father, uh, cancel every demonic dream that we have had in Yeshua's mighty name and send it back to the center of hellfire and spiritual realm where it comes from. Cancel every other dream that other people have had of us as well and send it back to the tender and the hellfire and the spiritual realm as well. Seal everything with the blood of Yeshua and the power of the rock of the Holy Spirit, and let only positive, beautiful, holy dreams come to pass in Yeshua's mighty name. Send the angels before us today and the rest of this week. Thank you for the new week. May this week be a week of joy and peace and happiness and love and wealth and and uh, and sale and tripling our sales and tripling our, our businesses and and your shoes, buddy. And let it be a week of massive donations and massive giving and and uh, surprises of godly surprises and good surprises in your shoes, buddy. Name continue to allow you know your people shine and uh, release the wealth. We'll leave the wealth transfer for your people. Let your people shine in your shoes, buddy. Name. We pray shalom. Heavenly Father, we we thank you for removing the poverty off of us. We thank you for removing the vagabond spirits off of us. We thank you for removing the uh, fornication off of us. We thank you for breaking the lying spirits off of us, breaking that abomination, breaking the uh, delays, and breaking the demonic dreams, and uh, never letting them come to pass in Yeshua's name. We thank you for godly spouses. We thank you for healing us. We thank you for holiness. We thank you for love. We thank you for success. We thank you for the wisdom. We thank you for favor. And we thank you for the abundant life. We thank you for the youth. We thank you for allowing us to decree and declare our wealth transfer, receive our wealth transfer, and claim our wealth transfer. We thank you for the debt-free life. We thank you for resetting us, restoring us, reviving us, renewing us. We thank you for the hair growth. We thank you for the peace, the faith. Uh, we thank you for forgiveness. We thank you for the patience. We thank you for um, the Holy Spirit boldness. We thank you for breaking that fear spirit off us. We thank you for breaking the depression off us. We thank you for a positive mindset, a positive attitudes. We thank you for breaking that perversion and lust spirits off us. Thank you for the fruitfulness. Thank you for the breaking the gambling and greed spirit off us. Thank you for uh, fulfilling our destiny. Thank you for the greatness. Thank you for perpetual blessings, healing, love, peace, happiness, and wealth. Thank you for breaking all generational curses, all curses, all witchcraft curses, and anxiety. Thank you for the wealth in every aspect of our lives. Thank you for breakthrough in every aspect. A breakthrough for every aspect of our lives. Thank you for um, holy friends and holy family members. Thank you for that respect. Thank you for the uh, breaking the cursing, the failure, and security, and the doubt. Thank you for influences, positive influences, and breaking the negative influences. Thank you for a balanced life. Thank you for breaking the anger and the hate. Thank you for promoting us in every aspect of our lives. Thank you for suddenly, suddenly blessed, healed, suddenly healed, suddenly faithful, suddenly fruitful, suddenly wise in Yeshua's name. Thank you for positive feelings. Thank you for breaking the crisis and the panic attacks. Thank you for expediting love, peace, happiness, and joy in our lives. Uh, thank you for um, breaking the disappointments, abuse, stagnation, selfishness. Thank you for breaking the sadness, loneliness, and addictions. Thank you for breaking the restlessness and darkness. Thank you for the cheerfulness. Thank you for calmness. Thank you for positive giving. We, when we give, Father, may we be blessed back a billion fold quickly. Uh, thank you for positive encouragement. Thank you for the joy, the joyful light that we live in Yeshua's mighty, mighty name. We pray. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Eyes open. Take care. Have a great Sunday. And I'll and see you guys all tomorrow as we continue until um, April 26th when we exit the Ark of Noah and uh, enter the brand new world. Peace out. God bless. Bye.